Right, I think we are live. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. I'm just going to wait for the chat to update, if the chat update. Let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. We're going to be bringing you Roll for Adventure. Uh, yeah, the chat is not updating. It's really weird, this chat. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I'll probably turn it off and on again, uh, and that'll... Oh, here we go. Refresh, and... Yes, the chat is up and working. Right, excellent. Russ is here saying the audio and sound is good. Thank you for joining in. This is the second game, kind of the third, uh, of Virtual Grid Con 2. I'm going to be live streaming for the next three days. Right now, I'm bringing you Roll for Adventure. In my personal opinion, this is an underrated game. I think this game is really good, uh, and I don't really hear anybody talking about it or playing it, but I think it's really good. It is a light-ish, light to medium, certainly a family weight game. I think you can definitely play it, and it's cooperative, and it's fantasy themed, and... Yeah. Yeah, I've been wanting to cover it on the channel for a long time. I've played this game quite a few times. It's been a while since I played, um, but it is for two to four players. And I'm joined today, if I just enable the microphone, uh, by somebody who's got the same name as one of the designers, Mr. Mas Mr. Matthew Dunstan. Hi, Paul. Hi, everyone. Thanks. For having you on. Now, this is one of your older designs, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a few years, few years old now, so uh, I will also be trying to remember how to play it, but no, no, I, I have a good handle on it, I think. <laughs> yeah, cool. And it's a co-design with Brett Gilbert, so just, yeah, just to be yeah. clear. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when did it come out? Was it two years ago or three years ago? I think it was two years ago. I'm looking for, yeah, 2018. So, right, yeah, okay. basically two years ago. It feels like longer. <laughs> it does feel <laughs> like longer. Um, right, Rick is also joining me again. Hi, Rick. Hello. Now you've Still not here. played this game at all, but you have been reading the rule book very quickly in the last half hour. Yes, very right. quickly. Just work out how it actually works. Yeah. But okay. It, it seems simple enough. -ish. Yeah. So today is going to be just more of a playthrough uh, rather than a tutorial, because uh, Matthew's got to go in about forty minutes or so. Uh, but you'll get the idea of how it plays. It is, as I mentioned, two to four players, cooperative. What we are trying to do is we are trying to move all of these. Jewels, gems, power stones. Move all of these power stones to here. If we get all five of them to here, we win the game. There is a configurable difficulty setting. We're choosing the easy one, okay? Book of Magic for your first game. Uh, we're going to be fighting monsters, but basically uh, the board is divided into these four quadrants. Three of the quadrants, so the green one, the grey one, and the, and the orangey, deserty one, <laughs> Those quadrants will allow us to get power stones, okay? The other one, the ice caves, has got some special abilities that we can use during the game. We're going to be cooperating by rolling our dice and putting them onto these spaces and accomplishing these tasks. These boards are also two-sided. We're playing with the A side of the board today, but for variation, you can use the B side of the board. But we're just going to be using the A side of the board. There are 10 different heroes included in the game. Uh, I've randomly shuffled them. And chosen these three. So Matthew, you are green. You're going to take the first turn in the game. And you are the thief. So your ability, once per turn, is that if you have completed a task or subtask in a territory, you may take back up to two of your own dice that you used and roll them again. Okay? Oh, that will all become nice. clear later on. Rick, you are the summoner. Oh. Once per turn, you may turn one of your bonus dice, which are the grey ones, which we don't have yet, but once you've got one, once per turn, you can turn one of them to any number you want. I need to get some of them then. You do. And I am the Avenger. Once per turn, if I defeat an enemy, I can move all of the dice used to defeat it to one or more territories. Okay, right. So we're going to jump in and we're going we're gonna to start playing. Uh, we have a deck of enemy cards here. There's 25 of them. The Master of Shadows is somewhere in the middle. It's not in the top eight. It's not in the bottom eight. It's somewhere in the middle. When the Master of Shadows comes out, nasty things are going to happen. It will happen oh, cool. during the game. Um, yeah, right. So what you do on your turn is first roll the dice. Now I did have a dice tray. Where's the dice tray? Here's the dice tray. Right. And you will notice that each of us have got a yellow dice. That's because we're playing the three player version of the game. So what you do is you actually get an extra die of the colour that isn't being used. And there we go. Right. So Matthew, your dice are... If I just pop them there, can you see them okay? 
I have to admit it's a little bit fuzzy on my end, so if you just quickly shout them out, then I'll... Well, what I'll do is I'll line them up. You've got a one, oh, two perfect. twos, a three, a four, and a five. Wow. Okay, that's right, very good. Okay. Well, well, so yeah, you've basically we can... got anything you want other than a six. Well, why don't we get crack on in the castle? We can we can put a couple of twos in there. I think yep. that's, uh, you know, may as well try and finish some stuff. So the castle is divided into three subtasks, and you'll notice that there is this like force field barrier. Uh, and to complete a subtask, you have to fill all of the four sections. And what that does is it gets rid of the force field. Once all three force fields have gone, we get one of the power stones. Okay, so you take the two twos. So I put the two twos, yeah, exactly. And you put them in there. And we roll uh, again. So you, you select a number, which is two, and then place one or more dice with this number on either an available field in a territory on an enemy, or you can put them on the vortex of resurrection. Okay, this is where you go if you want to heal, if you want to resurrect dice that have been lost. And then what you do is you re-roll all of your remaining dice. So you choose a number, place the dice of that number, and then you re-roll. Okay, you've got a one, a three, a four, and a six. Mm -hmm. I think I think we're gonna. I think working at the ice caves is going to be good because Rick needs to get some spirit uh yes. dice. so yeah. so let's put the one on the ice cave okay i think so the dice caves basically it's got six spots one for each number <clears throat> but this is different as i mentioned these are the places where you get the power stones the ice caves are where you unlock bonuses and basically you can choose to stop this once you've got four dice on here you can say that's enough and we'll take the bonus ones or you can stop when you get five or you can stop when you get six and the more that are in there, the better it is. Okay. So you... And quite critically, you need to, you only get the spirit dice, for example, if you actually have a die in the ice cave. So we kind of all probably want to try and yeah. contribute. Okay. I've re-rolled. You've got a two I'm on twos. two fives. Well, I'll take the two. I think let's, uh, it's good to, good to focus in this game. The trap for the unwary is to spread yourself too thin around yeah. too many different tasks. So. Uh, yeah, I'll put the two in the in the castle, I think. Yeah, I, I have sure. seen this game end on the second round of the game because people spread themselves too thin. So. Oh, gosh, well. Wow, right. Yeah. Okay. And actually, and then, I also want to complete something so because I get my dice back as the thief. So I'm just going to... Let's see. That's true. You've got a three and a four. All right, is this the basic the boards? The yes, this cave. is the basic boards. Let's put the three in the ice caves and just keep keep ticking that up. And hope that I roll a two. Come on, two. Good. Oh, got a five. All right, we'll go in the ice caves. Right, okay. So the reason why the game can end on the second round of the game is down to the fault of the players, generally. I think if I'm right, Matthew, if you start your turn and you have no dice, then it's game over. Uh, no, actually. Uh, oh. Well, th th okay, this, this is me going to very, very quickly check the rules. This may be a thing that I've... Uh, Hold on. Well, <laughs> while you're checking that, Rick, you can take... Oh, no, there's something else we need to do. Once all of your dice have been placed, we reveal the top enemy card. Okay, so we'll do this now. We reveal the top enemy, and it is an ice monster with number three. So what we do is we place this on the territory. So it's an ice monster, so it goes in this area. And then all enemies in play that had a lower rank than this will attack. So if there were other enemies here with a lower number than three, they would attack again. And then the revealed enemy attacks and removes dice. So what the ice monster does is it attacks and it removes one dice and it basically removes the highest one. Okay, so this has been attacked, this has been killed, and this goes there. So that, that is a dead dice. If there were no dice there that could be removed, the territory would take one point of damage, which are these very, very cute skulls. And if a territory ever takes enough damage up to there, then it, it's game over and we lose. Right, Rick. I, I took. I checked. Only lose if all players have no dice. Like if if nobody has any dice. Ah, I got that wrong then. <laughs> okay, Rick. Your numbers are: you have a one, a one, a two, a two, and a four and a six. Interesting. So the question is: I could finish the twos on that castle, thus clearing yeah. that out. Or I could put two ones on the pyramids. Yep, Which this seems... needs three ones. 
and this needs fives and sixes. Yeah. Can I put the two ones on the pyramids, I think? Okay. So those two ones go there, and then we re-roll what you've got left. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got a, a one, a two, a th and two threes. So now I can use the two to finish the castle. You can. Yeah. So that goes on there. Now, is it finished immediately? Yes. Okay. And then what happens to these dice is they go back to the player. Yeah, and they you put go... them on their player card to show that they, they, yeah, they can't use them. Yeah. Okay. So does that mean, because this goes back to the, act, the, the yellow one will go back right. to the active player. So that means Rick has actually got, he's stolen a dice from you. Well, we're I'm all not right. even the thief. I'm not even the thief. <laughs> uh, okay, you want to roll again? Yep. Okay, a three, a five, and a six. So to kill the ice monster, what do we need to do? It's a six, I believe. Yep, it needs a six. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Give it the you six. Can, you can it. do it from a total of, of dice you put together. So you could put two threes, for example. Oh, I right. can give it the six. Are you allowed, and this is a question, can you put a five on it now and then put more dice on it later to kill it? Yes, yes. Okay. It's actually a useful little tactic to put dice and they can't be attacked. It's a way to kind of like put them somewhere that can't, that are safe, actually. Right. Advanced strategy. Yeah, that's killed. That's killed so that, that, that has been killed. I think the dice goes back there and that goes there. And we roll again. I'm going to be rolling a lot in this game, aren't I? One and a two. <laughs> a one and a two. Put the two on the ice thing. Or do I see the one on there? Would that finish that one? It would. Yeah, yeah. Like the one there then. Okay, so what happens yeah, with great. this, once you've got three dice on there, one of them moves across to there and you get the other two back. And then once there are three yeah, dice in here... we don't choose which one moves on, but in this case, they're all the same. Yeah. Uh, once there are three dice in here, we get the power stone, but the one dice that was used to do that is killed and removed from the game. It's gone. Interesting. Six. Whack it on the ice. Okay, right. So you're all done. We're going to draw a card. And it's we've drawn... Green White Wolf 1. So it goes there, and again, it attacks the area, and the 6 goes oh, <laughs> into there. Okay. Now, one of the things with this game that took me a game to realise is I, I thought, okay, this is a 1. This isn't very dangerous. Whereas the 3 is very dangerous. In fact, what these cards do is exactly the same. And the 1 is actually more dangerous. Because if, if a 3 comes out now, the 3 activates the 1. And then attacks itself. So if, if a three came out now, we'd actually get two attacks. Whereas if the three was there, the three cannot be reactivated by another card. Whereas the one definitely can. Right, so that attacks. It's got rid of the six. It's my go. Now I need a six. Uh, I've rolled a two, a two, a two, a two, a three and a three. <laughs> now, you can't do the twos again. <laughs> Four twos would be great for this, but this is already unlocked, so... Typical. Two threes? Um, Maybe the ice cave. I think the ice caves. I'm going to go with the ice caves with the yellow one. And then I'm going to re-roll well, all of these. Want, you want your colour in there, Paul. Because Do if I? you don't have one of your own colour, then you... Oh, that's true. You yes. The spirit dice, yeah. Yeah, Come on, I six. I got a six. Mind. That's all I'm bothered about, because my special ability is, if I defeat an enemy... I can move all of the dice used to defeat it to one or more territories. What so are your I'm... other dice that you have, Paul? Sorry, just write it out. Two twos, a three, and a five. Oh, uh, okay. Because something to look out for is if you have like a pair or a triple that could kill it, yeah. that's a way to move those triples very quickly. Yeah, if but I'd have had two sense. threes, I'd have exactly. probably put them both on there and then move them to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've got the six. six, the wolf is defeated, and I'm going to put that six onto the ice caves. Now, We've got four dice on here. We could choose, if we wanted to, to take these dice off now. But I wouldn't if, get one. If we do, we get these bonus dice. If we wait until we've got five, we automatically kill a monster. And if we wait until we've got six, we automatically heal one of our lands. But I think right now we probably should remove these and get the bonus. Well... I don't know, because if we, for example, if we wait till my turn and I complete it, I get two of dice back and get to immediately use them again. So I get, essentially get two extra actions. Would you get to use them again? That's my, that's my thing as the thief. Oh, that's your ability. Yeah. 
Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll wait. So I'm going to re-roll. Right, I have a one, two threes, and a four. Threes so on the two castle. threes are going there. We're leaving the uh, yeah, what was good. that jungle or whatever it is? We're leaving a bit open, aren't we? Yeah. We're okay. If I roll five or a six, you can push quite quickly when you need to, so it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, I've got a two and a three. So I'm going to put a three on there. And it's a it's a one. It goes on there. Nice. Right. Nice. That's me done. So Matthew, you've only got two dice. We need to. Uh, wait, wait, Mon monster. Need a monster. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, monster. Getting excited. <laughs> right. This is a crypt spirit. So this goes on here. Now what this does is it removes a two, a three, and a four. So it would remove one dice from each se each section, but it's only if it doesn't remove any dice. That it damages the land so it removes one of these threes and we'll put it back in the middle okay right two dice yeah need uh, a four or five you got a five and a six well i think let's put the five into the ice cave and then i think probably i know this isn't great for you rick that you no, won't get a gray dice but i think i think just taking it now is too good why won't he get a gray dice is it so only people dice in there he has to have one of his own dice in there. I did. Each player who has placed the dice in there will get a bonus die. Ah, right. Okay. So, you get these out. We both get a bonus die. Uh, and you're saying because of your... I get two of those dice into my active pool, basically. I don't put them on the card. Right. Which ones do you want? Well, the two grade... Well, it does... It, like, I will re-roll them, essentially, so it doesn't matter which ones you put into my... Oh, right. Okay. Oh yeah, it says roll them again. Yeah, you got two ones. Um, would you re-roll the six as well? Because that was in the previous roll. You would re-roll the six, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. I mean, I two ones I and a five. Oh, and the monster should be dead too, actually. Yep, because we did it on five. Nice. Yeah. 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 And let's put two ones in. Yeah. Okay, so, so which of those ones yeah. is going to go forward to this area? Like, I'll put mine, because I'm the furthest until my next turn, so it's okay to, to freeze one of mine. However, if you put mine in, you're going to get these two back again. No, no, but I won't, I won't get to re-roll them. I only can do that once oh, in the turn. Oh, once per turn. It says in big letters at the top. <laughs> it's, the it's the big the letters turn. at the top that I missed. <laughs> right, okay. No, no, those that. other dice aren't lost. Sorry, the, the other dice are returned. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. So I get one in, and blue, blue should have got one. <laughs> and I've rolled a one again. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll go into the. Are oh, they ice caves, for example? Let's do the ice caves. Okay. Yeah, right. I might be able to finish it if I'm lucky. Yep. Right, you ready, Rick? Yep. Uh, monster, monster. Oh, monster, uh, monster. Uh, yeah. We're always forgetting the monster. monster. Monster, Right, it's vampire bats and it goes here and it's going to remove one of my threes. Oof. Okay. Right. Four. Oh gosh. Five and three sixes. Wow. So I put all three sixes in. So this foresty area, they've got to be fives or sixes and you fill up to the line. And when you get up to the line, we get a power stone, but then the fire barrier moves, so it gets harder and harder as the game goes on. Okay, re-rolling. Okay, yeah. Two ones. Oh, should I should put them in the ones. Yeah, I think, I think, I think so. We're going to have an early... Dust. Yeah, early power stone. Right. Monster? It's another grey one. Now, unfortunately, this is bad, because this is a grey monster and it's a number three. So it comes in and it commands the vampire bats to attack, which removes this. And then the black knight attacks. And because there are no dice here, the territory takes one damage. Yeah. A bit tricky, yeah. Okay, right, my go. We're going to have to start rescuing some dice from the middle, I think. Yes. So to rescue dice from the middle, you basically put dice on the vortex of resurrection. And once there is 10 or more points here, you can get all of these dice back. Now, thankfully, I've got some... Uh, I've got a six, so I'm going to put the six on the vampire bats to get rid of them. Can you attack more than one with two sixes? 
I'm assuming you can't. No, you can only place on a single right. monster. Right. Uh, and then that can go. I'm going to put to it the there. forest, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> and I re-roll these. Uh, so I've got a one, three, and a six. So I could use the six on the black knight. I don't Just get to use my ability. Or well, you could use the one to finish the desert. Possibly. Oh yes. Or the uh, yeah one to finish the desert. Uh, and then I'll move my dice across. And I'll get those two back. So those two go back there. And now this is complete. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to choose one of us to lose a die permanently. I'm happy to take the hit. So I oh, lose a dice exactly. permanently. That's gone from the game. Yep. But we do get a power stone. Yay. Sweet, and we sweet get power back stone. our... That red and grey dice go back to... Yep, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Two fives, which is enough Ooh. to complete the forest. Yeah, <clears throat> perfect. So we get another power stone. Uh, we get them back. That moves to there, and then... These go back. Now the bonus dice goes back to the ice caves, doesn't yes, it? Yes, correct. Cool, so. yep. And you get the yellow die. Cool. I get the yellow die because I'm the active player. And then we get a monster, which is a sand devil. So the ability Ooh, of a sand oh, devil... Just a time. Uh, it deals a damage to the land because there's no dice there. So there we go. Right. Matthew, your go. You have a All one, right. a three, two fives, and a six. And is the is the grey the one or the the grey is the what five number is the grey die? That's the oh, okay, grey. okay. Because another little trick is to to try and get the grey die into the desert because you can sacrifice the grey dice permanently. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, There's lots of little tricks with this. <laughs> uh, let's go in the forest. I've got two fives, right? Yep. Okay. We re-roll. You have a two, a three, and a four. Oof. Um... Ice caves? I can, I can Let's put a up. three into the ice caves, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and I've rolled two threes. <laughs> uh, Typical. Great. Uh... <laughs> Let's Can't kill what? What number are the? Is the? Let's kill the sand monster. The sand one. devil is number one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's kill it with the, the two. Killing three. that would be good. Let's go back there. And then I get those. Uh, can you, I'm not sure if I actually. No, I don't get them because you only get. I only get them if I complete a task on the board. I think. Correct. So. Yes. Okay. 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 So we need a monster. We need a monster, and it is a tree shrike. So this kills a five and a six, but again, uh, it will only deal damage if it can't kill any dice whatsoever. So, yeah. one which one goes. do we want to lose? I think is the bonus there a grey dice? There? there is, yeah. 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 Right. It automatically Rick. goes grey die. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Sorry. Sorry. Right, what have we got? You have a two, a five, and three sixes. Ah oh, man, I want to get these these ice things, but okay, to put three sixes in the forest. <laughs> three yeah, sixes in the forest. <laughs> okay, then got How a many four dice and a does six. A four and a six. I'm not going to be able to finish that tree shrine this time, am I? Well, you might. Oh no, you won't. No, because there's three spaces now. Can you put Can you... something into the ice? Caves? Yeah, put the six into the ice caves. Not on the monster. It's only a, it near really a one the rest of Well, I think if I roll another one, I'll be able to get the Ice Caves dice. This turn. Ye oh, that's true. Yeah, okay. If so I'm lucky. Six, six in the Ice Caves. 50% <laughs> chance. Roll the five. Hey, there we go then. Wipe that in. Ice Caves. So I can get the dice now, can't I? You could, but you wouldn't be able to use it this turn. So I think wait. Wait for your turn, and then you might be able to add it, and you, you get a dice. Or if then we can kill a monster, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go pull. Yeah, okay. Monster. Sun yeah. Devil. So it goes here. The oh, desert takes another point of damage. Right, my go. I have a two, a four, and a six. Two, a four. Two. Both of them are good. 
So the two's going to go in there. I'm now going to activate it, so we each get a bonus die. Nice. Uh, and then these Sorry. come back. Okay, and we kill... The sand devil? No, I think the forest one. We've got dice in the forest, so we want to... You uh, know, true, like it's just that we're with two things along and the death track. I think that's okay. Go and kill the tree shrike. Okay. We right. could also heal up if we if we fully complete the ice caves. That heals something to full. Yeah. Yeah. I got a five and a three. So I'm going to put the five onto the sun devil. All right. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put the four onto the sun devil, which kills the sun devil, and I can move all of the dice used to defeat it to one or more territories. Nice. So I'll put the five there, and I'll put the four. Maybe here. the four on the no. Maybe the four on the remembrance shrine. The what? Oh, right, the ten plus. Oh, the vortex the, the, of resurrection. Yeah. yeah. Get the yeah. I think we need then. to get some. Oh dice yeah, true. Quickly. Yeah. Okay. So I've Sorry, started I'm doing not that. Trying to keep up with the. Uh, does it have a two-player option? Says Oliver. <laughs> yes, it has a two-player option, and each player has two extra dice uh, instead of just one extra dice. Right, monster time. White Wolf deals one damage to the ice caves. Right, Matthew, nice. you're up. Excellent. You've got a one, and a two, and a four, and a five, and the grey dice is a six. <laughs> um, I'll put the f five into the forest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Reroll is a one, a grey three, and then a four and a five. Let's put the five into the forest. Yeah, so that's the forest done again. We get another nice. stone. Means I get my three dice back just in time for my turn. That goes back there, and these go back on there. Well, I get, get two of two of my dice back. Two of those back. Yeah, uh, okay. that's mine. Okay, loads of dice. We have a two. We have a three. We have a four, and we have two sixes, including the grey one. Let's do one six uh, with the grey on the uh, grey, the castle enemy. This one? Black Knight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's gone, and that, that goes back there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a one, we have a four, and we have two sixes. Uh, let's kill one of the monsters, the remaining monster with a six. Yeah. So. Okay. Got to get these monsters we're getting into into the control. Master of Shadows territory, so it's good to get rid of. The yeah, monster. that's it. It's somewhere in the next batch of cards. Okay, we've got a one, a five, and a six. Let's... Six gets our dice back. Yeah. I mean, you get all the yeah. Ones, let's so. let's let's get. Let's get the back. Let's put a six into the the remembrance thing. Okay, so vortex but of that resurrection. Also ends my turn essentially. That's the yeah. one little. No, oh, okay. You get those. That goes back there, and I get those. Okay, and you got a one out of five left, which is. No, no, uh, my turn's over. If I turn? if I if I place into the the this portal, that's the only action that ends my turn. If I take. Oh it. right, I'd forgotten that. It's it's basically it's always this risk of like when you're going to return you know it, obviously the fewer dice you have the less likely you're going to get what you need. Yeah. Um, okay. So we draw a monster. It's a giant scorpion, so it comes here and deals another damage to the desert. No. Okay, Rick. Roll those dices. We've got no dice on the board. You have two ones. You have two threes. You have a six. And you have a whatever you want because of your special ability. Interesting. So I could do three ones. Hmm. Yeah. But we're, we're a bit of a away from doing that, aren't we? Well, I could have, we're, I could have three threes yeah. instead. Three threes oh, might be good three, as well. Three, three. Yeah. yeah, that's good too. Go for three threes. Yeah. Change that to a three. Put them on there. Okay. Uh, you've got another three. And a four and a six. Wipe the three on, please. Yeah, so that is that force field gone. And then that goes to there. You get those back. And we re roll these. Uh -huh. Two sixes. 
Kill the scorpion. Kill the scorpion with a six. And then re-roll and get a three. Put it on the ice caves. Okay. Right. Monster time. It's a tree shrike. Comes here, deals one damage to the forest. Happy days. Right there I go. Does it have a solo option? It doesn't. But because it's cooperative, you can just play it as either two, three or four player and multi-hand it if you want to. I don't think there's a solo option, is there, Matthew? No. Two to four no, players. No, you just play two players. You know, yeah. And, and, yeah. Right, I've got a one, two, three, four, five. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I'm going to put the four. The yeah, of course. On here. Mm -hmm. I've then got a one and three threes. Don't forget if you kill this thing. You I know. Can back. But those two threes are actually not that. They're not great, are they? Great at the moment because you can't put them on here. So I'm going to put the one in the ice caves into the desert. Okay. <laughs> I just want another grey dice again, you see. I've got a two, three, and a four. <laughs> um, four and a two on the tree strike. I think we'll that's what I'm doing. Course, well, I'm going to put the four on first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I've rolled two fives. Brilliant. Um, <clears throat> Can you put both fives on there? I could. I mean, yeah, I put both fives on there. That kills that, and then I move the fives to there along with the four. No, the four can't go there. The four can go here. No. Yeah. Does the Perfect. ability say one or more areas? It yes. does. One or more territories. <clears throat> okay, wow. Well, it's quite good. Nice. Right, monster time. It's a wood demon, so it's a good job I got rid of the tree shrike. Mm. Done. Right, Matthew, with all of your dice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you have a one, a two, uh, four threes, oh. and two fours. I'll, I'll two do fours. the fours, I think. Yeah, so two fours, one. drops this force field, we get a power stone, and then all of the force fields go back up. And you can get another one. Right, those come back. Uh, that goes over there. Then I get there. two of my dice back. It's you get ball. those two dice back, which we re-roll along with all of these. Nice. Uh, we've got a one. Got another one. Uh, got a two. Got four threes. <laughs> and a four. Well, you can do the four threes. And get two let's of them let's back. do the ones, oh, I can't. think. Wants to return. Two can't ones? do the ones, finishing the ones. Right. Yeah. Okay. So which Edge dice are we going to lock in? Like my own colour, I think. Your own colour? Not the, okay. yeah, yeah. Right, re-roll again. Uh, I got a one, two, a three, two fives, and a six. Uh, let's keep going with the ones, I think. A one into the desert. Okay. Because we only need one more stone, so if we just Yeah, focus. one more stone and we win. Mm -hmm. Again, we are playing on the easiest difficulty level. Without the special monsters. <laughs> I may have played this game a few times, so... Oh, we yeah. haven't got the, uh, the Master of Shadows out, have we? Correct, yeah. yeah. That's so true. A one, of... three fours, and yep. a five. Another one, another one in the, into the... Another one in there. <laughs> this is it. Okay, a two, a four, uh, five, and a six. Uh, six to kill the monster, I think. Six to kill the monster. Nice. Okay. Two, five, and a six. Uh, let's do a five into the ice caves, I think. Five into ice caves. Reroll. Two and a three. Uh, two into the ice caves. And then a six. Uh, six into the ice caves. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Are we triggering the ice caves? Not yet. Uh... Do no, think I think we should wait to actually get all six because we want to yeah. heal something. Actually. Yeah, good plan. We're getting the beast out and killing it if it's a beast, a horrible one as well. It's the Master of Shadows. Okay, so the Master of Shadows, when revealed, all enemies that are currently in the board attack. Now, we've been doing a really good job of keeping them under control. Um, so that didn't happen. And then what we do is we roll this territory dice. Uh, oh. And this will determine what takes damage. 
Okay, so the desert takes a damage. There it's you go. two and... damage, actually. Oh, is it two damage? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. two damage. Gosh. Oh, this is close. Right. And then we put this card back into the draw pile. So it, it gets shuffled in, is that right? Yeah, we shuffle it back in. Yeah, okay. shuffled in, yeah. But now it's shuffled into somewhere in the draw pile. So we want to heal that place then, don't we? We need to heal, because if the Master yeah, Shadows comes out one. again and we get the desert again, we lose the game. Chance of that happening is slim, but it's possible. You're playing with me here. Bad luck always happens. Never know. Master right. Shadows is very tricky. You know. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Rick. Roll the dice. Uh, a one, a two, a four, and a six. Oh, I can put the one in the ice caves, or I can put the one in the desert. Oh, decisions. I think the one in the ice caves is good. You really want to get all six. So Yeah, okay, one. one in the dice caves. Let's the dice caves. We need a four. <laughs> you got a one, a five, and a six. One in the desert. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey. Who's going to lose the dice? Might as well be me this time. Oh, we can well, we can no log one. the yellow one in. I log the yellow one in. Yeah, yellows. Yeah. Okay. Come on, four. You got a four. Four in the dice caves, as I like to call yes. them now. The dice caves. Hey. Uh, okay, so we activate this. Uh, red and green both get a bonus dice. And then we kill a monster. There isn't any monster. And then we reset one land back to full health. Ah. <laughs> We've also rolled quite well at the times we needed to. So we did. And I rolled my last dice. Oh, we got our last dice as well, yeah. It's a four. Oof. Whack it in the ice caves as well. Okay. Right. Monster. It's the desert worm, so it attacks here. Uh, we're on the A side of the board, so it kills a mo it kills a dice, but you can only remove it from the yeah. first section, and the first section is empty, so we take a damage. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, my go. I've only got two dice, so uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've got a six. Kill it. So I might as kill well it. kill it, and then put the dice in here. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got a five, which I'll just put in here. Yep. Done. Monster time. Vampire bats come in here. The castle takes a point of damage. All right. right. Let's see if we can finish it here. Here we go. Yeah. Come on, roll those ones. Okay. Uh, no ones. We've got a two, <laughs> a three, a four, two fives. And a six. The fives in the forest. All right, two fives, two fives. Here we go on the forest. Yeah, we can two do fives this. in the forest. Okay, we have a two, two fours, and a five. Five, well, on, the forest, five on the forest. Let's keep going. Yeah. Gotta be, gotta be. It's all How many we got left now. in the forest? Two more. Two more. All oh, right. Uh, and you just oh. rolled three sixes. <laughs> <laughs> what did I roll? Sorry, I just said three sixes. Oh, wow, okay. Well, so, there you yeah. go. That's a win. <laughs> bash, bash, bash. So that goes on there, that goes on there. We've completed this. We get the fifth power stone, and that is it. Hey. 1442, just in time, Matthew. <laughs> well, that was... Uh, we did very well. Well, well done. Thank we, you, thank you. Yeah, so much. I mean... So we were playing on the easiest difficulty setting, uh, but the idea of this video was to give you an idea of how it plays. If you felt, oh, that was really easy. Yeah, we're, we're, you know, Matthew's the designer. I've played it a few times. Um, Rick's good at games as well. Uh, but we were playing on the easiest <laughs> difficulty setting. You can customize it. So very simply, we could have played with the Sword of Saints, which would have meant we needed six Power Stones to win. It means the game goes on longer. And the longer it goes on, the harder it is, because eventually you will run out of cards in this deck and you will be left with just the Master of Shadows. And at that point, the Master of Shadows basically activates every round. You don't get any other monsters arriving. Oh, you just arriving. lose if that happens. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, I got that wrong as well then last time I played. I just kept activating <laughs> I this mean, one. 
you're probably going to lose anyway, but uh, this is where I just check the rules, but I'm pretty right. sure about that. Um, there is the B side of these boards as well, so there is variability there. Um, there are 10 different characters in the game, and all of the characters have different special abilities. Uh, we were playing with the Thief, the Summoner, and the Avenger, but depending on which ones you play with, that will be variable. And if the game is still too easy for you, you've got these extra bonus difficulty cards. So you've got a whole set of giants, uh, you've got some phantoms, and you have some dragons. And what you do, these are not color-coded to any particular region, but you choose to play with one or more of these sets, shuffle these cards into the main deck, and these all have special abilities when they come out. And that makes the game harder as well. So yeah, there's a number of ways that you can customize it. If you're playing this game with your family over Christmas, you probably just want to use the default difficulty setting that we used. But once you've played the game a few times, you can definitely customize it. Uh, yeah, you've got the A and B sides of the boards as well, which is more not so much about difficulty, but variability, and you can like mix and match them as much as you want sort of thing. So Yeah, yeah. I, I've played with the B sides once, and I found it interesting because I've played with the A sides a lot. So in, in the B side of the desert, you actually have this big uh, sandworm that you're basically putting chains. I think it's like a sandworm thing. And you're, you're trying to attach these chains to keep it down. And you have to put dice to link all of the chains. And once you've done that, it's trapped and you get a crystal. The castle is slightly different as well. Uh, the forest, I can't remember how this forest works. You basically have to put, uh, you have to like put sixes on one end and fives on the other. And then you have to, at some point, choose to use a die to put the barrier in, which is like the divider between the fives. And right, sixes. that's it. Yeah. And then the ice caves work slightly different as well. And as, as Matthew says, you don't have to use all A or all B. You can use, you can use a mixture. So there's, there's, a, there's yeah. quite a bit of, uh, bit of variability there. Well, I've been wanting to cover this on the channel for over, uh, what, a year, year and a half, I think. So <laughs> I'm glad I did. Yeah, like I'm glad I did. Yeah, so no, <clears throat> I'll let you disappear, Matthew, because I know you're busy. Yeah, no, well, thank you very much. Thanks very much, Rick, um, and, no and, Paul, and, and enjoy oh. the rest of Greek Con. Yep. Thank you very much, Matthew. All right. Thanks. Right. I'm Bye. just going to grab, because uh, <clears throat> I've got something in my throat. Where's me? Uh, where's me glass of milk? No, I haven't got it. Anyway, Rick, what have we got next? Marvel Champions. Marvel Champions in Tag. 15 10 minutes. minutes. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. 40 um, minutes. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to know any more about this game, go and check out BGG. I think it is still available. It says playtime 30 minutes. Obviously, we were a bit uh, we were a bit more than that. Um, I would give it 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, so, I mean, we were playing fairly fast and frantic, but if you have each individual player rolling their own dice, that's that's going to save a bit of time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one I really like. I was expecting when I got this game, uh, I was curious about it. And I because I run a local games club, well, not at the moment, but I run a local games club in Columpton which is sort of advertised for non-gamers to show them the hobby and see what it's about. I thought this game would be a perfect fit. Plays in under an hour, it's got a nice theme, it's cooperative, and it's not that complicated. And when I got it, I thought, this is a game that I will play with people who are not gamers. And then I played it a couple of times and went, actually, this is really good fun. I really enjoy this game. Um, as I say, it doesn't seem to be that popular. I think it's quite underrated. Um, what do you think, Rick, after playing it once? Yeah, it's really good fun. Um, yeah. I mean, I like role player as well. So, yeah. I mean, role player is the whole about making your character, rolling the dice, all that kind of stuff. So, I can imagine going from role player to this, then you've got your character you've made, and then you fight yeah. against the monsters and that kind of thing. So, it's a similar yeah. kind of mechanism. It's rolling the dice and putting them on the spaces. But yeah, it's really good fun. Um, it plays very quickly. Um, I yes. like co op games anyway. So, yeah, it works good. Yeah, well, I'm glad you finally got around to playing it, even if you are 20 miles away in Tiverton. But, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did it cool right so yes uh thank you for joining me and yeah me and rick will be back in 10 minutes time uh playing marvel champions rick you've made two decks for us i'm i'm playing the hulk is that right i nabbed both decks from marvelcdb.com okay a, a, a hulk deck and a black widow deck right um, but they've been ported in they're ready to go and what are we playing what scenario we're playing uh the once and future kang right which is going to be completely new to me right yeah it's good. it's good i've done it once it's really good you enjoy it i am going to get that ready now thank you very much for joining us don't forget if you have one dollar or one pound or one euro or whatever 
the link is there for the charity. Please consider giving if you can, because all of these videos are being provided free of charge this weekend to help raise money for charity. Other than that, I will say goodbye to everybody here. Um, I'll say goodbye to you, Rick, but I'll be saying hello to you in five minutes. We'll <laughs> yeah. see you all soon. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.